Hi guys, this is Mr. Hendrickson, and what we're going to do is go over how to work out problems using the order of operations again. When you solve math problems that have more than one type of math operation in it, meaning adding, subtracting, multiplying, and or dividing, there's a special order that you have to solve the problem in. Take for instance this example right here. It's got adding, multiplying, and dividing all in the same problem. What most people might be tempted to do is work left to right and just solve everything in order. But that will give you the wrong answer because there's a correct order in which we will solve these types of problems. This special order is known as the order of operations. An order of operations refers to the correct order that you solve a math problem in when it has more than one type of operation in it. And again, the operations being adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing. And it's important that we follow the order of operations so that we get the correct answer. Everybody likes correct answers. And the order of operations are parentheses, meaning you work out anything in parentheses first in a problem. Next comes exponents, meaning you compute any exponents next, then multiplication and division, and you'll actually do whichever comes first, working left to right. And then adding and subtracting, which like multiplying and dividing, you will do from left to right. There might be instances where you subtract before you add, or where you divide before you multiply. And we'll go over examples of that shortly. A real easy way to remember the order of operations is the word PEMDAS. P-E-M-D-A-S. And each letter of that word represents the order of operations in the correct order. You have P for parentheses, E for exponents, M for multiply, D for divide, a for add, and S for subtract. And when you guys get order of operations problems, I would recommend write on the side of the paper PEMDAS, P-E-M-D-A-S, just so you remember what the order of operations are. We'll go and look at a problem now that requires we use the order of operations. Here's our sample right here. Okay. And down at the bottom of this page, I've got the order of operations written out, PEMDAS. Okay. So first thing we do, we are going to start with the P, the parentheses. And we're going to solve what's in the parentheses first, which is 2 plus 5. And that gives us a sum of 7. Now, I'm going to go and rewrite everything else in that problem next to that 7. This will help me keep my problem organized and ensure I get it correct. So again, I did what's in the parentheses first, and I'm going to put a little check mark next to that P. Next thing, following the order of operations, is to solve the exponents. And in this problem, you have one exponent, which is 2 squared. If you guys don't recall, 2 squared is the same as saying 2 times 2, which gives us an answer of 4 when simplified. So I'll write that 4 down. I'm going to bring everything else in that problem down with it. Okay. Now, the next thing to do is either multiply or divide. And we will end up multiplying first the 7 times the 4 because it comes first in our problem, working left to right. And 7 times 4 gives me a product of 28. And I'm going to bring everything else down with that. So I've done exponent, I've multiplied. My next step is to divide 28 by the 2. All right. So I do 28 divided by 2, and I get quotient of 14, and I bring down my minus 2. There's no addition in this problem, so I don't need to worry about that. And my last step is to subtract 14 minus 2, and I get a difference 
of 12, which is my final answer. Okay, so let's backtrack again. Let me give you guys a second to look at that. I'm going to erase it and go over the steps one more time. So again, I started with what was in the parentheses first. My 2 plus 5, and I got 7. Okay. Next thing I did was I solved my exponent, which gave me 4. Okay. Check that off. Next thing was to multiply since it came first. I got did 7 times 4, I got 28. Bring everything else down. And now I'll divide 28 by 2, and I get 14. There was no addition in this problem, so I have no addition to do. And my last step in the order of operations is, is to subtract 14 minus 2. And I get a difference of 12, which again is my final correct answer. There's one easy way to remember the order of operations, but first I'd like you to introduce you guys to a beloved family member of mine, my dear Aunt Sally. Please excuse her, she got a little carried away with her makeup this morning and can't help how she looks. Very attractive woman. Okay. To remember the order of operations, just remember this saying, and remember my family member. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. She can't help the way she looks. The first letter of each word in the saying represents the operation you do and the correct order in which you do them. Okay. For please, you have parentheses. Excuse, you have exponents. My, you have multiply. Dear, you have division. Aunt, you have addition. And Sally, you have subtraction. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, Pendas. Whenever you count, encounter an order of operations problem, again, a good strategy is to go ahead and write the order of operations, Pendas, on the paper next to the problem. Take the time and write it out. As you work each operation out, put a check mark next to each letter as you complete that operation, like I did in the problem I worked out with you guys. So for instance, we solve what's in the parentheses up here, and when we're done with that, put a check next to the P so you know you've done everything in parentheses. And as you work each operation out, rewrite the problem underneath the preceding one, like I did in the problem I worked out with you guys. After I solved the 2 plus 5 in the parentheses, I brought my 7 down as well as the rest of my problem. Something like that. Be sure to rewrite what's left in your problem below it to keep organized and ensure you get the answer correct. Organization is half the key in successfully completing these questions. And two important rules to note and I've already mentioned this, but although multiply comes before divide in the order of operations in the sayings, you can divide before you multiply if the division comes first when working left to right. For example, I'm going to write the order of operations off to the side here to better illustrate what I'm talking about. Okay. In our little memory tool here, Multiply comes before divide, but in this example here, we are going to divide first, okay? because these two, multiply and divide, are actually interchangeable. You do whatever comes first in the problem. So in this case, we would divide 12 by 3, we get 4, then multiply, and you get 8, which is the correct answer. Had you done it the wrong way and multiplied first, you would have gotten 2, which is incorrect. Again, you can divide before you multiply 
as long as division comes first, like right here, in the problem. And the same holds true for addition and subtraction. Write the order of operations off to the side. In our memory tool, addition comes before subtraction, but they are also interchangeable. Okay? If a problem has subtraction before addition when working left to right, you can subtract first and then add. For example, right here. You encounter 15 minus 3 first in your problem working left to right, so you would technically subtract first. 15 minus 3 gives you 12, and then plus 2, you get an answer of 14. Had you done it incorrectly, you would have added 3 plus 2 first, gotten 5, and subtracted that from 15 to get an answer of 10, which is incorrect. So again, addition and subtraction are interchangeable. It depends on what comes first when you work left to right, and you have nothing but addition and subtraction operations left in the problem. And that's the end of the lecture for now. So what we're going to do next is some practice problems with the order of operations. If you forget what the order of operations is, just remember, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally or PEMDAS. P-E-M-D-A-S. Or look back on your notes or this PowerPoint. So you guys go and get out the order of operations practice problems that you were given and we'll work some of these problems out together. I'm going to pull it up here on my screen. Okay. And your sheet looked like this. Okay. All right. Let's zoom in some. All right. So your first problem is According, and your first problem is, according to the order of operations, what is the first thing that you should solve in the following problem? So I'm not even asking you guys to give me an answer. I just want to know, if we use the order of operations to work this problem out, what's the first thing you would solve? So what I'm going to do is go and write out PEMDAS. Think of my dear Aunt Sally. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally or PEMDAS. And now I know the order of operations. So looking at this problem, I have 3 plus 2 times 4 plus 3 in parentheses. I'm going to give you guys one second to write out what you would solve first in this problem. That's all I'm asking you to do is what would you solve first. Go ahead. All right. Had you followed the order of operations, you should have done what's in the parentheses first, which is 4 plus 3. And that would have been the first thing you would solve in that problem because it's in parentheses. Okay. Again, following the order of operations, you do what's in parentheses first, which is 4 plus 3. And that would have given you 7, and then you would have kept solving. All right, next problem. It says, according to the order of operations, and again, write them on the side of this paper, what is the first thing you should solve in this problem? Okay, so I'm going to write PEMDAS. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally out again. And then I want you guys to take a moment and decide what would you solve first or do first when solving this problem. Go ahead. All right. Had you followed the order of operations, you would have gone to parentheses first, which is right. That's the first thing you'd go to. But you have something else in those parentheses you need to do first. You have an exponent. 
So technically, what you would have done first in this problem is solve 2 squared or 2 to the second power first. We are in the parentheses, but the next thing to do within those parentheses is the next thing in the order of operations, which is the exponent. So you would have solved 2 squared or 2 to the second power first, and then continued working. You would have ended up with 8 minus 4 within the parentheses. And then you would have solved that, and then everything else on the outside. Okay. Moving on to the next problem. All I want you to do is find the value, or in other words, solve that problem right there. 5 plus 9 times 3. Write your order of operations off to the side and just follow them. I'm going to give you guys a minute or two to work this problem out. All right, I'm going to work it out with you guys now. So I've got the order of operations off this side, and I'm going to go and follow that order of operations. So first things first, parentheses. I have no parentheses in that problem whatsoever. So I'm done with parentheses. Next thing is my exponents. And also I have no exponents in that problem at all. So I don't need to worry about exponents. The next thing, multiply, I do have multiplication right here in the form of 9 times 3. So I'm going to go ahead and solve that. 9 times 3 gives me a product of 27. Bring down my 5 and my addition sign. Check off my multiplication. I have no division to do, so I'm going to put a check next to that. And I do have addition, which comes in the form of 5 plus 27. And after adding those together, I get a sum of 32, which is my final answer. Done with addition, and there was no subtraction to do in this problem. Okay, so again, I multiplied 9 times 3. That gave me a product of 27. And then I added my 5 to that and got a final answer of 32. Alright, on to your next problem. What is the following expression in simplest terms? Or in other words, solve it. I'm going to write the order of operations off to the side. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally or PEMDAS. And now you guys take a few minutes and work this problem out. Give you 20 seconds. Alright. So using the order of operations, we're going to do what's in the parentheses first. But, if you guys notice, you have two sets of parentheses here. And we're going to just start with the one that comes first, working left to right. Do what's inside of them. In that case, we do 3 plus 5, and you get a sum of 8. Now I'm going to bring down everything else in that problem. Okay. We still have another set of parentheses, so I'm going to solve what's inside that set using the order of operations. So first things first, we have no exponents, but we do have multiplication in there, which comes in the form of 2 times 1, which gives me a product of 2. Bring down everything else, and now you have subtraction. 
which is 2 minus 1. So I'll write this over here. Now you have 8 minus 1. 2 minus 1 gives us 1. Okay. Now we're out of the parentheses. So all we have to do now is our subtraction, which is 8 minus 1, which gives us the final answer of 7. All right. Last two problems. I'll give you guys a moment to work out number five, then I'll go over it with you, and then you'll do number six by yourselves. So go ahead and start problem number five. What's the value of 15 minus 3 times 1 plus 4? Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally off to the side or PEMDAS. Go ahead and go. more seconds. Alright, working this problem out using the order of operations, we're going to start and see are there any parentheses in this problem, and there are not. So we're good on parentheses. Next thing, are there any exponents, which there are not. So we're good on exponents. Next order we come to is multiply and we do a multiplication in the form of 3 times 1 which gives us a product of 3 so we'll bring everything down 15 minus 3 plus 4 and we're good on that no division in this problem and we do have adding and subtracting but in this problem subtraction comes first and again adding and subtracting are interchangeable we do whatever comes first when working left to right. So we'll do 15 minus 3, which gives you 12, and then bring down the plus 4 and add that, and your final answer would be 16. Alright, and now you guys go ahead and do the last problem, number 6, on your own. And I will touch base with you in a minute and make sure we did it correctly. And again, write out, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally or PEMDAS off to the side. Go ahead and go. All right, I'm going to go and go over this problem. If you need to, pause this video, and you can keep working it out. And when you get an answer, go ahead and press play while I work the problem out. So, referring to the order of operations, we're going to start with P, parentheses, and we do have parentheses in this problem. And within those parentheses, we have a division problem, 18 divided by 9, which gives us a quotient of 2. So I'm going to write that, bring everything else down, Next thing is exponents, and we don't have any, so we don't need to worry about that. Next thing is multiplication or division, and we do have multiplication. It comes in the form of 2 times 2, which gives me a product of 4. And then, next step in the order of operations is addition, which we have. It comes in the form of 24 plus 4. I'm going to rewrite all this over here so I have room. Okay, 24 plus 4 gives me a sum of 28. Bring down my minus 2. 
And then my last step in the order of operations is subtract, which is in the form of 28 minus 2, and we get a final answer of 26. So, just keep in mind with this, remember, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, or PEMDAS, and remember that multiply and divide are interchangeable, you can divide before multiply, and likewise with addition and subtraction. You can subtract before you add, it just depends on what comes first, working left or right. Okay. If you forget any of this, ask myself, ask Mrs. Lunsford or Mr. Schultz, refer back to this lecture, or check your notes, and good luck, and now you guys are going to do independent practice on it.